What happens on the banks of the Ganges River when you knock a picture of Shiva off the wall? Hi, this is Duncan Trussell, and this is the time that I overdosed on edible marijuana in Varanasi, India. As you probably know, Varanasi is known as the city of burning and learning. They call it the city of burning because it's where a lot of Indians go to cremate their relatives after they've died because it's considered to be very auspicious to have your ashes poured into the Ganges River. It means that you will escape from the cycle of birth and death potentially not have to come back to this particular plane of reality that we call human incarnation. It was also a place that an Australian told me and my friend David and my friend Emil that you could get legal marijuana. He said, if we go there, we should ask the person at the hotel for a bong lossy. That's all we needed to hear. Just to address the elephant in the room, for those of you thinking, what are you talking about? Weed is not a psychedelic. First of all, if you think weed is a, a psychedelic, you need a new fucking dealer. Secondly, when you eat weed, what happens is your liver metabolizes it and turns it into something called 11-hydroxy-THC which is a very potent psychedelic, and that's the reason when your friend gives you weed candy at Six Flags, you think about killing yourself in line to the roller coasters. We got on a train, and we headed to Varanasi. We ended up in this really weird hotel. Now, when we asked the chef for the bong lassi, he had this really interesting look in his eye. What I imagine was probably the way the serpent in the Garden of Eden looked at Eve when he was like, you want to eat this fruit? It's probably good. You should taste it. We drank the entirety of the drink and decided to wander off into Varanasi, not knowing that we had probably consumed at least three or four times the amount of marijuana anyone should ever eat. And we are in a city that smelled like barbecue because there were constantly bodies being cremated. And I end up looking down it's someone being cremated, like a body being cremated. And standing next to me is an Indian kid who is learning how to count in English. And so as I'm watching this old man's face kind of dissolve into the fire, this little boy is looking up at me and going, one, two, three, four, five. It was so intense. That's right when the weed started kicking in. I, I stumbled down the steps to the Ganges River where I found my friend who said, let's get a boat. You, let's, let's, let's pay to have a boat take us out on the Ganges River. None of this made sense at the time. I was almost completely out of words. I was like, yeah, let's get in the boat. We'll get in the boat. And these oarsmen, they take us out to the middle of the Ganges River floating on what a massive percentage of the world population considers to be the most sacred river on earth. It's so powerful, it feels as though you're rolling on the back of eternity. People up to their waist in the water holding bells, like long beards just ringing bells and burning incense, dead cows floating down the river with vultures on the backs of the cows like eating the cow like they're on some floating fucking buffet. You thought it'd be smart to drink a lot of marijuana and go out on one of the most sacred rivers on planet Earth. Stupid Americans. We're, we're sitting there. The oarsmen know we're high, or at least we think we know we're high because we're at that point of being so high that it feels like everyone knows you're high. And that's when my friend Emil leans in and says to me, you know, the oarsmen are using telepathy to control our thoughts, right? I was like, you got, okay, boat tour is over. I've got to find a place to curl up in the fetal position. We're walking towards our hotel and we pass a Shiva temple. They're very sweet people and they invite us into this little temple. They're singing these beautiful songs called kirtans, which are essentially like spiritual hymns to Shiva. We're listening to them, it's so beautiful. The sound of them is so beautiful. I'm having past life memories. I'm seeing myself as an old man on a boat going down the Ganges River. I'm kind of rocking with the music and then I lean backwards and knock a picture of Shiva off the wall. Everything got really quiet 
My friend's face froze in a kind of fear paralysis. What happens on the banks of the Ganges River when you knock a picture of Shiva off the wall in front of Shaivites? What happens is they all smiled and they asked me to move over a few feet. It's totally fine because it's just a picture of Shiva and they're cool. And then I went back to the hotel. Right as we're going into the hotel, someone walks by us. I swear to God, it wasn't because I was super high and said to us, the owner of that hotel will chop your heads off at night. And then we went into the hotel, went up into our rooms and then the power went out. So it was now completely dark and I just started crying. That's my story. Tales from the...